And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And ahead is live action from the Turkish Superliga. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five man midfield, but will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. And now they get the ball rolling. Emre Akbaba. It's with Wilson Eduardo. Well, strong play here. Wilson Eduardo. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Dino Arslanagic. Atinc. Did well to win the ball back. They've won back possession. Soner Aidodu. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Promising possession, this. And quite simply, wide of the target. Joao Novais. Wilson Eduardo. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And an attempt best forgotten, I think. In position here to protect the ball. Halil Agbunar. Useful looking ball. Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. 
Candeas. Christian Boca. Joao Novais. Careless in possession. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Halil Agbunar. Options in the middle. And they deal with the threat this time. Wilson Eduardo. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Space and time for the cross. And the no nonsense clearance. Candeas. Now Emre Akbaba. Moving it forward. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Emre Akbaba. Splendid defending. Di Santo. Halil Agbunar. And fed forwards. Taking care of business defensively here. Emre Akbaba using his physical strength to shield it so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said Wilson Eduardo he could pick out a teammate and with that the attack fizzles out a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. An effective challenge. Wilson Eduardo. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Now there to intercept. Efejan Karadja. And it looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Wilson Eduardo. He takes aim. And a body in the way. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. CG Trying to pick CG out a teammate. It comes to nothing in the end. Candeas. It's opening up for them. Bruised the crossbar. Punched away. Just the clearance that was called for. Well, they won't come closer than that. But they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. 
And still danger here. Well, threat averted. Soner Aidodu. Halil Agbunar. What can they do from here? Adis Jahovic. And that is how to win the ball back from your opponent. 20 minutes remaining. On and on he goes. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Oh, they get the ball once more. Leroy Fair. Can he finish? And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? And whipped into the box. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Christian Boca. And that's great work to keep it in play. And taking it away. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? Could cross it in here. Can they get in behind them and pull back? Oh, they've done it! they forged ahead and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And we've entered the final five minutes. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Before will they go chasing the game? Still looking for space. Joao Novais. And blocked for now. And in with a real chance. And fine goalkeeping. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team, no complaints from the fans here. Well Derek, what a good finish to the game that was, they just wore down the opposition and in the end they got their reward, that's a really good win for them. Well there's a good reason why we're highlighting him, really dominant in attack in this game Stuart. Well he gave them a really hard time didn't he, his speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well, he was brilliant today.